Hi, this is Matthew Chum here with Treetop Permaculture and the Campfire Restoration Project. I'm in Berry Creek, California, in the site of the newest and most destructive fire here in Butte County called the Bear Fire or the North Complex Fire. I'm standing at just one of thousands of sites just like this where we have homes, shops, and vehicles and structures that have been destroyed, full of toxic chemicals, full of heavy metals that are waiting for the next rains to leach into our critical watersheds. Behind me is Canyon Creek. This home is right on the edge of Canyon Creek. And as soon as these rains come, these materials are going to leach into the environment. They're going to go into our soil, on our properties, into our wells, into our streams, our creeks. They're going to go down the hill. They're going to go into the Oroville Lake. That is going to accumulate. It's going to go into the Sacramento Valley, into the farming system. These materials are what they call accumulative hazards. They're an accumulative toxin that will go into the wildlife, into the plants and, and vegetables and all the things, the fruits that we eat here locally. If you're a fisherman, the fish will be full of this. If you're a hunter, the deer will be full of this. If you're a farmer, your food will be full of this. If you're a consumer, if you're a, just an average person, this is going to be in our system. And guess what? We cannot wait for the government to take care of this. They are overwhelmed. They do not have the capacity to take care of this in a timely manner. I have been just working hard as I can to work with these agencies to see what we can do to help mitigate this. But guess what? It's not on the priority list. And we have to stand together as a community, as citizens of the earth, as protectors of our water systems to help mitigate these damages. So please join me and donate or join the movement to be someone who can help organize and make phone calls, get donations for us for materials. We need straw wattles. We need straw bales. We need wood chips. We need uh, seeds. We need tools. We have about 50 miles of linear feet that need to be addressed right now. And that's just the toxins. We're not even talking about the erosion potential. This is also just as critical. We're talking about ash that is hydrophobic, meaning the water sheets right off of it that is going to go straight into our watersheds, causing also just as much damage in a different way. It's going to create mudslides. It's going to fill up our creeks and, and, and our streams with silts. It's going to kill the last remaining little bit of wildlife that are in these little water systems. And again, it's gonna impact everyone that's downstream from here. We must address this together as citizen-led coalitions to, to get this done because we are on our own. All across California, this is the same story. Some communities might have more support, but guess what? We're doing this from the grassroots and we, we need to come together on this. We need your help. We need to form restoration camps. Join the Ecosystem Restoration Camps movement. Please help donate. In this area, if you are near here or wherever there's a fire near you, please find the group that's doing this work and support them. This is the most important situation after a fire. Don't listen to anything else. Restoring power and, and removing biomass and all these things are nothing compared to what damages will be caused by these materials going into our water systems by this erosions we could see massive mudslides and many more catastrophes that will come from this situation we're in right now 
So please do not downplay this. Please tell your local officials, you know, gather together, organize, let's get this done, join us. My name is Matthew Trum, and I please ask for your help here from Berry Creek, Feather Falls, and the surrounding areas that have had these massive fires. We need your help. Thank you.